Whenever I want to escape from London, I find myself drawn to Dungeness. It's a strange sort of a sanctuary, but I've been coming here for 20 years and I find myself pulled back time and time again. Dungeness is about 60 miles from London on the Kent coast. Set largely on a massive shingle beach, it's a low-lying conservation area that only gets around 25 inches of rainfall a year. The shapes of everything are so much more prominent and distinct because the sky is so big. Dungeness is littered with abandoned structures, but in recent years, architects and designers have experimented with ways to turn some of them into radical, elegant homes. Hello. Hi. Hi, Fiona. Today, interior architect Fiona Naylor is showing me three of her five projects here. Starting with an ex-Coast Guard station, she's converted into a holiday home for visitors. Oh Welcome. Oh my goodness. It, it's wild out there today and it's incredibly calm and quiet in here. It was a very conscious thing to make it a sanctuary. A strong link between building and surroundings is a recurring theme in Fiona's Dungeness designs. So all the buildings that I've done, I really want you to feel like you can connect to the landscape. But it's when you venture outside that you truly get to appreciate the surroundings and their role in the building's design. You are effectively in the sea here. Yeah. You know, we are on a headland that projects out into the channel. This building, when I was designing it, it's like designing a ship. Ordinary stainless steel just rusts in a week in this place. So you have to be very mindful of the materials you use and the way you deal with the building. It feels like we could get blown off the balcony at any moment, so it's a good time to move on. We're actually heading towards Fiona's second home, but on the way, we can stop off at her most recent project, an old site designed to test radar technology that she finished at the start of this year. I mean, the idea behind these windows when you know, we're, we're designing is to try to make a painting mm -hmm. effectively. Mm -hmm. A neutral color palette minimalist interiors and other understated touches all make a subtle connection between the compact interior and exterior landscape. What I wanted to do was, um, so this door disappears completely um, and creates sort of another room yeah. out here. So the roof over sails and then you've got the sleepers here so you can sit outside or eat outside, but you're sort of protected top and bottom. Um, and you've got the, you know, the sentinels mm -hmm. of the posts um, protecting you. Our final stop on my architectural tour, Fiona's Dungeness Getaway, is called Experimental Station, a former government research facility dating back to World War II that was used to test marine and signal apparatus. Wow, so this is your home? Yes, yeah, so this is where I hang out when I'm in Dungeness. So what was it like when you first arrived? It was a complete wreck. But we kept the brickwork externally. It's an industrial building, so yeah. keeping that appearance externally was really important for me. For Fiona, respecting the past lives of her projects is also what makes her work stand out. Because of this place and what it is and its industrial history, to bring that to play in terms of the factors that inform your design has to make it a richer and a better response. So obviously this is your home and then you have a structure there, there, there. You're surrounding yourself with, with your, your developments. For me it's like a personal creative process. So I don't see them as developments. It's much more about my journey in taking this building and turning it into something. Dungeness is an unlikely spot to visit. But this trip has given me a real appreciation of the architectural creativity that's been used to revive some of the structures here. And most crucially, in a way that reflects the personality and the character of the stripped back yet vibrant landscape that surrounds them.